Hi, my name is Yuna. I came to Ghana one year ago and I think I started going to New Song maybe five years ago as a freshman in college. My last year of university, I uh, felt called to go to Ghana. Um, I think around like November, December. And so after I graduated, uh, I came here in August one year ago. And then now it's been one year. Almost. Almost <laughs> one year. Almost one year, yeah. My life in Ghana has been very, very chill. It's a lot slower and takes a lot more discipline and um, a lot of alone time with myself and with God. Yeah, coming to Ghana has felt like some kind of like, I always tell people like it's like a wilderness that God just like dropped me into. And thanks to Muksanim and Samunim, uh, every day we do like early morning prayer together and we start off the day. And then um, throughout our day, we're just like working. And now since construction for the school has finished, we're able to go into the school and work just together. And then oh, we just spend a lot of quality time together, eating and working and um, walking together, like all the little things. And um, I've been so blessed because I think this time is really, really precious, even though sometimes it didn't feel like that in the moment. But um, God giving me one year to really work on myself and uh, work on building these habits of prayer and scripture reading and fellowship. Maybe it took me going to a different country to really learn those things. And uh, maybe because he knows me so well, by his grace, uh, I had really beautiful and quiet and peaceful days with my family here. And yeah, and so we end every day with uh, worship as well. We gather around like eight and then we just read again and then go to sleep. And so uh, there's not much to it, but it's been so fruitful and yeah, really, really nice uh, to do life with them here. Before coming, I thought that I would do a lot and I would change a lot of things <laughs> and I would like, you know, be so helpful and so amazing. But no, God showed me the opposite. God showed me that uh, He was the one making me. He was the one, I was the one being made. And yeah, I think coming here showed me a lot of like deep sins and strongholds I had. And um, like I said, being kind of in this wilderness, um, I felt God showing me a lot of the things that He wants to take out of my life. And it was really, really hard. And there were so many moments where like I was just running away from it or feeling so much shame and so much anxiety. But um, I think that's something that God taught me how to repent. God taught me how to confess it and turn that sin into something that um, He wants to use and to grow in my life. And so, yeah, I just realized that God isn't looking for someone perfect. He's not even looking for someone who is good at working or super put together because I'm not or super organized because I'm not um, super nice because I'm not a nice person. Um, he's just looking for someone who is humble, someone who is soft-hearted to repent and to confess and go before Him um, in humility. I realize that's who He's looking for. And because I realize I'm not a perfect person and um, so many things that I thought like I was, God really crushed in my soul. and. Um, in that, I realized he was making something new and helping me to learn to depend on him better. I think that was the greatest thing that I learned and I really want to keep. I think my hope for them is that they would be healthy and that um, God would keep them from getting sick or um, getting burnt out or getting too tired and that every day um, they would just depend on God with everything. And especially Pastor Chang and Tawunim and Gianna, they've been so, so good to me and so gracious to me. Um, 
seeing like the worst sides of me. Uh, I, I know that, yeah, it wasn't, it's not always easy to understand and to love me and to live with me as it was for all of us living together, but always they chose to love me and chose to understand and pray for me. And so, yeah, I just hope that God just blesses them more and more in all the ministry that they do. And I just hope that whatever they do, that God gives them a team, um, God gives them partners and people to support and to work with them and that they never feel alone in the work that they're doing. Um, not only because God is with them, but because they're always surrounded by people that have the same heart, that have the same vision, that have the same love for uh, the church and for the school that they're doing. Yeah, I want to thank New Song Church Seattle so much for all your prayers, your donations, your participation, um, even you just being present and part of the congregation. It's all directly contributed to Ghana. And yeah, it takes faith to come and be here for a year, but I think it takes more faith to pray and to invest in something that you don't see every day and something that you don't, you're, you're not, physically there for and so all of it does not go to waste it doesn't fall to the ground but it's being planted and sown miles and miles away and so I really believe that God is using Ghana not only in Ghana but in Seattle to build our faith and to build our dependency on Him bigger than what we can see or bigger than what's right in front of us and yeah all of us we're always so eager and we're so always so encouraged to hear news about you guys. And um, I know so much can happen in a year, but we feel so connected to you guys always because we're praying for you and you're praying for us. And so no matter who's in Ghana, who's not in Ghana, please continue to pray for Pastor Chang and Susan and Gianna because every day they're praying for you guys. and. Um, yeah, they really care for Seattle as well. And um, yeah, I think just, um, yeah, I think through living here, I've learned so much of what it takes to, or not so much, just a little bit of what it takes to um, build a church, a healthy, God-fearing church. And it's really not easy, but I'm so thankful that um, I'm in Newsong. And um, yeah, we're surrounded by such great leaders. Hi, I'm Yuna, and I'm so, so thankful to God and all that He's done this past year. I'm thankful for Pastor Chang and Tamuni and Gianna uh, for him placing them in my life to show me unconditional love and to show me how to follow him with everything with their whole life. I'm so thankful to him for not giving up on me when I was stubborn and complaining. Uh, it looks so nice and beautiful and like so spiritual in the videos, but really <laughs> it was a lot of complaining and tears and struggling inside my heart but still God was faithful to me so I'm so so thankful for him and I hope that when I come back more than anything about me or anything about I've done or even what our team has done here but you would just really know and understand how good God is and how much he loves Ghana and loves us to use us and to have us be a part of the work that he does yeah my greatest joy was discovering that uh, I'm only satisfied in Him. And it took all the stripping away. It took Him taking me to a different country to really learn and understand that. And I thought I was going, you know, mostly just to serve other people and to change their life, but it was my life that was being changed. And so, yeah, all glory to God. And I'm so thankful for all of your prayers and your support, it all, mattered and I felt all of it every single day and so thank you so much for being a part of this with me and I can't wait to see you in America. Bye!